Hi. A journalist uh, interviewed me for his feature. It's one of the Chinese paper I think sent you. Yeah, some years back. It was in 2015. I don't know how he got hold of my number. He called me to make an appointment. So he wanted to see my stuff and then, you know, because I have been writing. So his editor sent him over to see me to get a story. Uh, but apparently he has uh, seen uh, some of my writings over the years. So we made an appointment, okay. The, yeah. yeah, a few days later, you know, at the uh, old town. There was an old town, Kopitiam in uh, Slayang Jaya. So we met and we talked, 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 a uh, yeah, couple of hours. All right, over a cup of coffee and some makan, all right. So I told him uh, what I have been writing. So he was especially, you know, interested in uh, my reminiscence of uh, Tala Anson. I told him I had already, you know, given one interview or so to this uh, one of the editors, English editors, you know, about my writings. That was, I think, in 1990, quite some time back already, for a travel magazine, all right. But anyway, this is, uh, yeah, we discuss. Uh, I'll show him many other things, you know. These are true stories of when I was small, you know. And there was this uh, uncle who sat under the tree, Mr. Petition Writer, the Eurasian uncle, who used to sit under the tree. So when I cycled to school, I would see him wearing his specs, you know, would be typing in English. Those days, you know, the, he was the bridge between the common people and the government, whether in Bahasa and English. You know, it was fluent in both languages. I remember sitting under a tree near the whole storage. Yeah, somewhere. Of course, that was in the 50s. Right? Somebody's uncle or somebody's father. So... Mr. Typewriter Uncle. Yeah, Mr. Petition Writer under a cherry tree. So this one, the other one is, uh, you know, we share a common kitchen. You know, we try, we cook, and then we blow into the, to get the fire going. And uh, my experience, the tailor shop, no, barber shop, and the postman, Glens and postman, a famous postman. So I wrote, I told him about my, yeah, he was interested in my uh, school days, each episode, you know. So I told him in detail. So he took a few snapshots, took a picture of me, and flashed it, just flashed in the papers. I don't know what was the reaction, it's just a feature, that's all. Okay. But, uh, okay. Well, sometimes uh, whatever I write uh, in my blog, you know, there are people who come and uh, get information from me. So especially the one day, you know, because I was writing some a lot about my department, you know. So one man, one person was doing his thesis, his thesis on uh, on the on a department, on the functions of a department, his thesis for his uh, general degree. So he saw my blog, he asked permission, you know, my permission for to get this. Uh, I said, okay, no problem. So I gave to him. And on another occasion also, I did a picture of uh, Talk Talk Me, drawing uh, and then some writings. And one lady, a writer, food writer, I think, she uh, got my permission to use the cartoon and the name Talk Talk Me, I gave to her. She's an English woman who wrote, who writes about the food, you know, in Asia. And there are a few others, and also the other one, you know, I wrote about the elephant, you know, that I stumbled upon the, the you know, stumbled upon the black cat when I was picking rubber seeds and the railway like my friends, because the, this place was very near my house. 
Sicily Garden. You know the place where the elephant collide with the train? It's Sicily Estate. It's if you go along to Ipoh, you just take the after your fifth mile, take the road into the kampong. You you won't miss you, you, you won't miss it. You see it there, it's near the river. And then okay, and then I wrote about this and the tree hugger. This famous guy is a blogger, so he caught hold of me. Yeah. He got hold of my uh, my my writings and uh, put it in his blog. Tree hugger, you you should Stephen. His name is Stephen. Yeah, I made some friends. Probably this a writing. Made some good friends, you know, journalists, you know. Okay, of course we're not making any money. We're just sharing our stories. So I'm just sharing my story with you. This is a uh, you know I've cut out this one, paste it. With this uh, yeah for memories. <laughs> so it's not recognition you know it's like I don't want the one recognition as such it's just that you know at least I be, I'm sharing it with people and people that acknowledge you know yeah that, that, that there's someone who's writing about this I'm sure there are others who uh, have written better you know they have lens and so so we just want to share our experiences okay thanks for watching bye bye